I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Donald. All right. So yesterday, I uh, told everybody I was doing a 36-hour fast. I'm going to talk about that for a little bit. Uh, I decided uh, that, um, you know, recently, over the last couple of months, I've been eating a little, uh, eating a lot of uh, foods like pasta, noodles, you know, things that are not necessarily the healthiest uh, for me. I'm still trying to, you know, get my daily dose of fiber, of course, but either way, I've put on a couple pounds and uh, I'm loving every minute of it, but the moment has come for me to reverse course, and so I decided to start that project with a 36-hour fast. Um, I had nothing but water all day yesterday. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, I ate dinner on Friday and I ate breakfast this morning. Um, but uh, I, I skipped the entirety of yesterday. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I, uh, I learned a lot. So one of the things about fasting, I also, vaporized a lot of marijuana plant matter um and i got the munchies so i was i was fasting on hard mode um fasting on hard mode yesterday and uh you know what it's uh it was fun but um i learned a little bit about my food habits uh you know it was a very introspective experience i was sitting there laying on the bed starving and uh and high as fuck and wanting to eat like you know like fucking chips or something because i got the munchies um and uh and so there you go but anyway um i made it i had nothing but water and coffee yesterday and so worked out pretty well and uh well i didn't do edibles because i was fasting so, but I did, I did mix the, I have dab wax and I mix it with the plant matter. Um, so, but anyway, uh, I recommend it. If you are someone that doesn't have like a medical condition that would, you know, you'd pass out and die. Uh, at some point yesterday I had, a, I, I had some salt. Um, you know, I pee a lot because of the medication that I take. And so I was low on electrolytes, so I had some salt. Um, and let me tell you, that salt tasted great. <laughs> After like 25 hours of uh, of not eating anything other than water and coffee, that salt, ooh, wow, it was like an orgasm in my mouth. Anyway, this morning I had a piece of bread, and that hurt. It, it was painful to eat the bread because, um, you know, it was just painful. Uh, but anyway, I uh, I want to do a weekly fast, um, 36 hours once a week for the next X amount of weeks until, you know, it's just until I until I stop, I guess. Um, I don't know what day I'm going to do it, but if people want to join me, that could be fun. Um, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Uh... Fucking Blood Moon is posting like 1930s like fucking dietary guidelines. You need to eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. And if you want to lose weight, you have to eat less calories than what you burn. Yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> I'll listen to you. All right. Uh, but anyway, uh, if anyone wants to join me, I'm not sure what day I'm going to do yet. I want to do during a, the weekday, uh, the weekend you know, I, I have a different schedule on the weekend. Um, but the weekday, I might do, like, maybe Thursday. Maybe Thursday. I don't know. Like, what do y'all think? Like, maybe we'll think about it. But anyway, if anyone wants to join me, could be fun. Uh, I'm doing 36 hours. I might reduce that to 24 hours. Um, at some point, or might go back and forth. I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... Um, you know, pretty fun. I've been, uh, you know, I have a food addiction. I don't know if anyone knows that. Uh, as a former obese person, I have a food addiction. So, uh, every once in a while I go on little benders and you know what? The, it's a controlled bender, you know, go for a couple months and you just kind of eat whatever. Um, 
And then, you know what? A couple months is over. I had my fun. It was enjoyable. And now it's time to uh, get back into the old habits. So that's kind of my thing. Uh, this is how I manage my addictions. Um, you know, like I've, I've mentioned this before with alcohol. Every once in a while, I'll go on like a week-long bender. I just like wake up and fucking start going and then you know and then eventually i feel sick and then i'm like all right i'll it's you know time to settle down and then i take a break um but uh is that the healthiest way to manage an addiction eh, i don't know but it's uh it's the way that i've managed to figure it out um and so anyway 36 hour fast it was it was enjoyable I'm not going to lie to y'all i uh i slept a lot um that's one of the things about doing a 36 hour fast is you get to sleep during it and like when you're asleep it's hard to fall asleep when you're hungry um but i have a lot of experience going to bed hungry uh because i was uh very poor when i was a kid uh and would often not have food in the house um so i'm very f familiar with going to sleep hungry but i know for a lot of people it can be difficult uh but anyway once you go to sleep man you just i i was like i woke up at six and I was like, fuck that shit. I'm going back to sleep. Fuck it. So technically I did like a 37 and a half hour fast because I just, I slept in. Um, how much weight have you lost throughout the years? I, the maximum weight that I ever sat on a scale for was like 250 something, 255 ish. But, uh, you know, that's the thing about being really, uh, big is that typically you don't actually know what your largest was because, you know. I don't know. I would estimate probably 270, 280, but I didn't use scales when I was at that point in my life. Um, and uh, so I don't know how much I weigh. I haven't weighed myself in multiple years, uh, but I have I the lowest I went from when I initially did a big weight loss thing. I went from 280 ish. That's just an estimate. Um, 280 ish all the way down to like 129. Um, and uh, that was pretty pretty brutal uh i went in the reverse course of uh developing anorexia so not great uh but i've learned a lot and uh you know i can use that to teach the viewers and the users about what not to do when you're trying to lose weight um step one you know counting calories that's probably one of the worst things you can do to be honest with you this is why i'm on my show i'm against calorie counting i think counting calories is a trap um, treating all foods and drinks as if they're the same, you know, like when I was doing the anorexia thing, this, you know, when I was like 20, um, I was like, you know, cut the crust off my sandwich to save a couple calories, even though the crust was probably like, you know, the best part of the bread, <laughs> you know, as far as, you know, the bread nutrition wise, the crust has probably got the most, anyway. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, I'm anti-calories for that matter. Um, because when I would count calories, I would always try to sneak in the things that were causing me problems like candy or a soda. Oh, it's fine. One soda or one like half a can of soda is only 80 calories. You know, it's not that big of a deal. Oh wait, it's actually a huge deal. It's fucking 30 grams of sugar, right? Like that's a huge fucking deal. But anyway. Um, I'm against calories anyway, but I, I want to try to, uh, get back into the more, uh, strict dietary habits. Um, been a little bit free form recently and, um, and so if anyone wants to join me on a weekly fast, I'm going to try to do this once a week. Uh, I don't know what day I'm going to choose yet. I might, I'm thinking about Thursday, um, but I'm not sure yet. So, uh, there you go. Um. That's it. That's the that's the scoop.